done. The account is ready. Are you sure it's a good idea? I am sure of one thing. It would be a good lesson for all of us. Please, watch over him, hermano. Uncle, you look well. Walk. So, Father won't be joining us? Dios mio, Maurice. Would you listen to yourself? Talking like a fucking American. Actually, Uncle, I go by Romero now. You forget where you're from, Sobrina. This jog your memory? Okay, time to familiarize yourself with your surroundings. You can move the camera using the mouse or the WASD keys. You can also rotate the camera using the QE keys or the scroll wheel. You see that marker there above the farm? That's a hint. Hints can provide important situational information. So look out for them. Right now, that hint is telling you to turn on that farm there. So, what are you waiting for? So, father has acquired some new territory then. See, si, your tata bought it out from some opportunistic pigs after they shipped out the gang that was in there. He's putting you in charge. Me? What do I know about running a cartel? Why can't you do it? You're free to ask him, but it's nothing I haven't already said to him myself. Seems he's had enough of you burning his plata, playing rooster at some American college. I was studying poetry. Want my opinion? I would tell him you were flirting. So? Where do I start? Okay, you're going to do it? Until I can find a way out, yes. We start by establishing a production chain with farms, roads, and warehouses. I've sent some money ahead to put up a farm on some land with good soil for opium. You can build out from there. So, now you've got the farm working on some goods. You need a place to store them. Open the build menu and select warehouse under the logistics tab. Then you've just got to choose where to build it. Personally, I'd build it in that highlighted area, but that's just me. You're gonna need more than one farm to fill up that warehouse. So build four more. But make sure they're within the service range of the warehouse. You'd be surprised how easy these truck drivers get turned around.
it's best to keep the roads simple. Look, I've highlighted an area for you to build roads connecting the warehouse, the city, and the nearby aerodrome. And don't forget to connect those farms to the warehouse. Now we just kick back and wait for those flowers to grow. What? Got something better to do than wait? Fine. You can alter the game speed using the panel at the top of the screen. Useful information can also be found in the manual. To access the manual, click on the book in the upper left corner to open the manual. Not bad, eh? Yeah, you're a natural. Is something wrong, uncle? What? You think now you sit back and the money just rolls in? Who's going to deliver the opium to the aerodrome? Well, I was hoping. Dios mio. I'll make the deliveries for now. But if you're going to be a successful capo, Sobrino, you don't want your lieutenants wasting their time on opium deliveries. You need to get out of this office and into the city. Put that college brain of yours to work on improving logistics. Or pay some nerds for research which figure out a solution to our transportation issues. Either way, soon you'll have this place running like poetry in motion, eh? Looks like you've got your first lieutenant. And a handsome one at that. You can give a lieutenant an order by clicking on their portrait and opening their lieutenant menu. Try it out. Order me to move to the warehouse you built. Now that your lieutenant is at the warehouse, Open their menu and select the ability, Deliver. Select the product, the amount you want to be delivered, and show them where to take it. Bruabalo, have me deliver opium to the aerodrome. This will be your selling point. Go ahead, turn it on. Open the research tree window and research the transport company. Now that it's been researched, you can build us a transport company to take care of moving products from the warehouse. Make sure that the transport company is within range of the warehouse and make sure that there are roads connecting it to the aerodrome, obviously. Now all that's left to do is tell the transport company where to deliver to. Open the transport company and set the aerodrome as an additional connection, then watch the magic happen.
Ya esta. The distribution of opium is now automated. Use the stop delivery order to cancel your lieutenant's current instructions and save his aging back from further trouble. You smell that? That's progress, Subrino. You're doing well. See, si, Uncle. In fact, I'm even starting to have a little fun. Don't get ahead of yourself. There's a long way to go yet. I'd expect nothing less. So, what now, Lieutenant? Our warehouses are beginning to fill with dirty money. Dealing in dirty money is a dangerous thing. La Policia can sniff that shit out as if they were truffle pigs. We need a money laundry to scrub that scent from it. Now, your data just used to pay your college fees in cash and launder it that way. But since that's no longer an option... Wait, he did what? Our next best bet would be something like a taxi company. We can build one in the city. And while we're at it, it's time we found a proper residence. But isn't that a waste of money? Not at all. A private residence is a good place to stash dirty money in much greater quantities than any other building. Plus, I love you, Sobrino. But one hotel room just isn't big enough for the two of us anymore. You can use dirty money to build too, you know. Open the city menu and start construction of the taxi company with dirty money. But the transport company can't carry cash. It's a policy or something. You'll need to use a lieutenant to transport it to the taxi company. Oh, I wonder who's going to wind up with that job. Excelente. Now you can launder money. To automate the movement of money, you'll need to build a residence. I've marked another area on your map where you could build it. After that, you can stop any ongoing lieutenant deliveries of dirty money using the stop delivery command.
بذار Home is where the heart is, and now the cash too. But for this to work, you'll need to set the aerodrome and the taxi company as additional connections. Now you can use the residents to transport dirty money from the aerodrome. Build roads through the highlighted area to connect the city, the residents and the aerodrome. You know, you're very like your father. I'm not getting ahead of myself, uncle. What's next? Let's see. Legal money is best left free for where it is needed most. Research, paying off los tambos, etc. So, where we can afford to, we should operate using dirty money. Building and paying upkeep with dirty money is certainly an underhanded way of doing business. It can speed things up by cutting out the time it takes to launder cash. But you need to move the money to where it's needed manually. It can be challenging for the most experienced capos like your tata. But I think you're ready to be a little more hands-on. Gracias. I won't let you down. It's not me you need to worry about letting down, Sobrino. Here's a neat trick. Residences can deliver dirty money for the construction and upkeep of other buildings. So long as they're connected, of course, using dirty money, build a new warehouse within range of the residents. Then, build roads to connect the new warehouse with the road leading to the residents. Keep on going. Keep on growing, Capo. Using dirty money, build new opium farms within range of both the residence and the warehouse, and build roads to connect the new farms with the road leading to the residence.
you'll need another transport company for your new production chain. Build one new transport company within range of the residence and the warehouse. And make sure to build roads to connect the transport company with the road leading to the residence. Last time with the road sting, I promise. With your dirty money production chain good to go, all that's left to do is set the aerodrome as an additional connection for the new transport company and watch the money roll in and out again. Building out quite the empire now, eh, uncle? Eh, uncle? Hey, what's the deal? You call this an empire? Dios mio, even your tata would have got a kick out of that one. What's that supposed to mean? A few farms? A couple warehouses and a taxi company do not an empire make, Sobrino. So, your next lesson will be in expansion. And not a moment too soon. I've been bored as a monkey in a fucking bonsai tree down here. No offense taken, Uncle. First, we'll need to take out the gang occupying the capital city in the region we want to control. And for that, we'll need another pair of hands. At least. You can hire a new lieutenant at the residence. Open the residence and hire Tony Quintero. Meanwhile, your old friend has gained enough experience to rank up. Why don't you open his profile and promote him? What about a large raise too? And a comp Company car. Too much? Too much. Got it. Tony, welcome, Parse. Wait, you know each other? Of course. We share a barber. But... Para me bola, Sobrino. With Tony on board, we have all we need to grow our operation here. The first step, diplomacy. Diplomacy? Of course. Diplomacy is the bedrock on which empires are built. And no form of diplomacy has created more empires than arms dealing. Why don't we see if our neighbors in Rogandes would be willing to sell us some weapons, eh? First, you'll need to get in a room with the gang's leader. Well, I'd rather you than I.
Well, would you look at that? Not only did you manage to come back alive, but you struck a deal too. We'll send our new friend Tony to collect the weapons and deliver them to our residence. And now, it's time to fulfill our side of the deal. I don't think we want this particular transaction showing up in our bank statements, however. We'll deliver what we owe in dirty money to the city. Hey, I hear Tony just became available. If those are our only choices, then I suppose we will have lead. What is it, Uncle? It seems our end of the deal remains unfulfilled. What? No! I gave them exactly what they agreed to! Those! Those! Cerdos Grandes! We cannot allow this transgression. What are our next steps? Hey, when diplomacy fails, war becomes inevitable. Luckily for us, the fools have sold us the instruments of their downfall. Unluckily for us, we need to get these instruments to the battlefield. We'll ask Tony to deliver, but I warn you, this action will be a declaration of war.
Tony is no pushover. But even he can't take on an entire gang by himself. Quickly, the capo must join the fight. As for myself, I'll see to it that the rest... Best of those weapons make it to the battlefield. All right, that's the last of the weapons. Hey, Dios! We're pinned down. We need to lay down some suppressive fire, quickly! It's only a matter of time until we win this war. But remember, Hotshot, terror will continue to increase as conflict occurs. If you're not careful, you might catch the wrong kind of attention. The city is ours, but I don't remember Tony having that many bullet holes in him before. He's no use to us like this. I mean, uh, he must be in so much pain. Let's get him to the residence. He can recover there. Vamos! See, si, Capo, you heard correctly. I'm just a steady hand. The boy is pulling his weight. I don't think we're quite there yet. He still has that fine head of hair, after all. It was the stress that took yours, no? Then again, I don't remember you ever having that much hair. Must be from his mother's side. Me? No, hermano. This is a choice. Oh, hold on. He's here. 
Is everything okay, Maurice? You're sweating like a fox caught fucking in a forest fire. It's the police, uncle. They, they want to take one of our buildings. Don't tell me you're sweating over Los Tambos. So what? They will put some tape around a building? Block some road? Get some money in the right hands, and we'll be cutting that tape off to applause like we're opening a children's hospital. We took a fucking city, Sobrino, so the authorities are going to notice. In these situations, we make use of our new friend, the mayor. The mayor would just... help us like that? We'll put up a new casino in the city, and when the public's loyalty is high, we'll ask the mayor for a favor. With enough loyalty, he can keep the authorities off our backs. Comprende, young capo? You hear all that? See, a little while to go yet, but he's getting there. I hate to say I told you so. Due to the current terror level, police have arrested one of your farms. Ah, looks like the Federales wanted in on the... fun too. They've blocked the road with a cordon. Wait for the arrest time to end or open cordon and bribe to remove it early. Unless you keep your loyalty up, you'll lose control of an unoccupied city over time. Move any lieutenant or capo inside the city to prevent the cartel from losing control of it. If we're going to avoid that in the future, we should think about investing in our image. Open Shaparisha's building menu and build a casino in the city. We can use loyalty buildings like the casino to increase our loyalty. Makes sense, right? Loyalty is the general public's opinion of your cartel and a powerful tool to have in your arsenal. Mayors can perform favors such as freezing an attention star to stop attacks. Ask the mayor of Chaparisha, or Abuelo Mahiko himself, for a favor. Oh, and with the increase in the size of your residence, you can set another connection for it. How about the casino? There are various ways to increase your loyalty, such as buying from villages or 
hosting special events in buildings like the casino. Go on, give it a try. The secret with Los Tambos is that they do not exist to protect people. They exist to protect the property of the rich, an interest of which the people sometimes coincide. They're less concerned with your pockets being full than they are their own being empty. Well, now their pockets are full. Maybe now we can kick back and enjoy the quiet. Hey. What gives? This is no time to rest, Sobrino. We have the city in the palm of our hand. Now we must close the fist. Let me guess. I'll be paying another visit to our friend, the mayor. See, si, but taking control of a region isn't as simple as asking politely. You don't get into public office without a nose for opportunity. The mayor will have drawn up a list of demands. Fulfill them, and the city and the region is ours. Everybody's got a price, Capo. Talk to the mayor of Rogandes, the sorrowful Sebastian Medina. to learn of the conditions needed to acquire a city. Once you fulfill the mayor's three conditions, you'll be able to take control of Rogandes. No votes, no campaign, no babies to kiss.
Way to go, Capo. Talk to the mayor again and take control of the capital and region. Make sure that at least one lieutenant remains in the city to prevent the cartel from losing control of it. How about some good for a change? Open Chaparicha's building menu and build a church in the city. Then, set the church as an additional connection for the residents. Okay, so it's not totally good, but come on. What do you expect? No good deed goes unpunished, eh? Your actions have caused the increase in terror. Lucky for us, mayors can influence the terror level. How about we ask our old friend Sebastian Medina for a favor? Building out quite the empire now, eh, Capo? Owed all of it to your guidance, uncle. No, Tio. But our work is never done. You see, the more we sell a certain product, the more saturated the market becomes. Demand goes down. So do prices and our profits. What use is all of this control if it could be all taken away by something as unpredictable as the market? Diversification, Sobrino. We must diversify our production chains. Dios mio, I thought you went to college to study poetry. When did you have a chance to learn all this? I went to college to study poetry, Theo. That doesn't mean I actually studied it. And when you're not studying, you find quite a lot of time for smoking. I mean, studying the economics of cannabis distribution. I think it's time your father meets the man you have become. Business first, Lugarteniente. Sumer said, boss. Now that you're growing for two, it's time to upgrade those farms. Open the research tree window and research tier two of the farm. Oh, and... and uh, just a side note. If that loyalty meter hits zero, the capo will die. To avoid this, I'd advise increasing the loyalty level by any means known to you. Just thought I'd mention it, you know. I've picked out a nice spot for a new warehouse. Build one, then build a few cannabis farms within the range of the new warehouse. Got it? Who am I kidding? You're an expert at this now. Everything can be eaten straight from the bush, if you know what I mean. You'll need to open the research tree window and research the drying rack. When that's done, 
build a drying rack within the range of the new warehouse in Rogandes. Next, open the building menu and build a tier 2 workshop within the range of the new warehouse in Rogandes. When it's built, set the workshop to package dried cannabis into vegetables. Running low on a product? No problem. You can always buy from villages. Buy some units of vegetables from the village for packaging dried cannabis inside. You don't need to tell them about it. Then, use a lieutenant's deliver ability to transport vegetables from the village to the workshop. Why pay someone else to do a job you can do yourself, right? Build vegetable farms within the range of the warehouse in Rogandes. You should also build a transport company within the range of the new warehouse in Rogandes. You're almost there, Capo. Set the workshop as an additional connection for the transport company. Then, set the smuggling point checkpoint as an additional connection for the transport company. Now, using the workshop, package units of dried cannabis into vegetables. Just think of it like making a salad. A salad so good that it's literally criminal.
This is it. Turn on that checkpoint to start sailing through it. Selling points like checkpoints and seaports need you to hide your produce inside legal products. So, sell units of dried cannabis packaged in vegetables through the checkpoint. Then, you might just be ready for Padre himself. Mijo. Tata. Salvador, your tío, tells me you go by Romero now. Si, Tata. It sounded closer to Romero, see? The chicas love shit like that. Maybe. I was wrong to doubt you, mijo. Salvador tells me you've come a long way. That under your command, we have established a foothold. In not, he tells me that you have learned all there is he can teach you. So, I have decided to extend you an offer. Stay here and work for me, as part of this cartel, and let Salvador look after the smaller business you built. What do you say? <laughs> 